So this has come up time and again. How do you tell if something is real gold versus gold plated versus gold filled? It is fairly easy for solid gold and there are electronic testing machines that are portable um, that you see with people who are buying um, your used gold or whatnot. But it is really, really hard to tell the difference between uh, gold filled versus gold plating. A customer, a new customer reached out to us. Uh, she had purchased our findings and out of the blue had said, oh, I tested your gold filled because I've just had enough of what's out there. And I, everyone says that their things are gold filled and it, it tarnishes. it. So I tested yours. And we didn't know about that, but she was testing it. She said, so I just want to let you know that I am glad to say that yours is gold filled. Um, it's 14 karat. Filmed it. Yeah. So we wanted um, her to share it with us. And so I'm going to broadcast that. Okay, so I'm testing all these beads that I bought. I have more, but these are the ones that they claim that they're all 14K gold filled beads. And this three there is from the Stones and Findings. And this one is from eBay, Amazon, Etsy, other um, supplier. And this even one here at the bottom here, I got it from the store. And this one too, I got this bracelet and they said that they are all 14K. Uh, Goldfield beads. So I'm testing it now and then let's see what will happen, okay? Okay, if you see the gold, the stones and finding you see that gold stays there even with the acid or this liquid that I use so it means that they're real 14k the other one they just disappear they just dissolve this one there's light but they still dissolve this one this one I got from the store and it's also like you don't really see that Real gold there, but I think it just passed the ten, not the fourteen. But the gold from from the stones finding it still stays there. You should see this trick. Just have a better lighting there. Yeah, there you go. It's still there. It didn't disappear. It didn't uh, dissolve. So it means that they're really selling a good. 14k gold beads and this is the bracelet that I made okay just to let you know the testing kit that she had uh, is an acid test um, like similar to there are ones like this uh, that you can purchase it comes with a stone where basically you take the piece and you scratch on it your, your bead or whatnot, the acid will eat away um, on the gold. So you don't necessarily want it, want to test it on a finished piece unless it's somewhere that's kind of obscure. But if you have components, rub on this. And basically by rubbing on this, it's an abrasive surface. Some of the gold, the, the top layer comes off and you're rubbing hard on this. If it is plated, then effectively um, when you do this, part of the metal that's underneath, if the thin plating or if it's just a plating, um, it will come off. If and with gold filled, it's supposed to have a very thick layer, so part of it will come off. And then you take this test and you dip the lick, you squeeze the liquid, and it is. Uh, what is the word? It's highly corrosive and it'll eat away if it is the case that there, it, there isn't enough gold, there's not gold, um, it'll just disappear. 
in this liquid, um, what's out there, you can have test for 10 carat, 12, 14, 18, and 22 and 24, I believe. So it is available and it's interesting because what is out there, um, there are a lot of people and all of these samples that she had purchased were ones purporting to be 14 karat gold filled. But because of the naming of things in certain countries, they call it gold, they just call plating gold filled um, because it sells better that way, it sounds better. And then the people who buy it and put it, make it and then put it on Etsy or their store because their supplier calls it gold filled. They say, oh, well, that's what they call it. And it's really a good deal. I got a really good deal. So, but then when the, the, retail, the retail customer wears it and it changes color um, within a couple of months, then it is a problem. So I think it is worth noting, and I would like everyone to be educated, and please, if you have the opportunity, test the gold, because you can really, really hurt your brand. Um, so it's always advisable to know your source, and I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a wholesaler of premium quality jewelry components, um, I have a link below uh, and with all of the, the welding that I've been doing, I'm going to just put some info on the welder and I welcome any comments and I'd be sure to reply.